To get started, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the TDR score sheet. I'll put a link in the description so you can download it and take a look at it. First off, when you're sitting down, please write your name down legibly. If you're watching this and your name happens to be Mike Smith, it's purely coincidence. Write down your team color and then check with the judge for the box number that you'll be using. Once you've gotten your score sheet filled out, you're ready to get started. You can see on test port 1, you'll be using a VOP of 80. You're allowed to go ahead and get that set on your TDR before you start the timer. If you're using the Tracker Pro, you can either use the arrows to manually change the VOP or use the Favorites button. I like to now move Cursor 2 out of the way and just use Cursor 3 for measuring. Please note that hand timers are no longer allowed. You must use a stack mat timer. Turn on the stack mat timer and make sure it is reading all zeros. Place two hands down on the stack mat timer and wait for the green light. Once you see the green light, you're ready to go. When you release your hands, the timer will start. Plug your jumper into port 1. Move your measurement cursor to the end of the cable. Fine-tune the location to the leading edge or the left-hand edge and note the distance and the termination type. If it's going below the baseline, it's a short. Write down the distance and whether it is an open or a short. Move your jumper cable to port 2. Please note on the score sheet, the VOP for port 2 and change the TDR accordingly. Now just repeat the process. Move your cursor, align it with the left hand edge or the leading edge and note the distance and the termination type. Here you can see we've got an open or it's going above the baseline. Write down the results on the score sheet. A common mistake is forgetting to change the port or changing your VOP. We recommend, if possible, getting very comfortable with the TDR you're planning to use and repeat each sequence for each port. Finally, for port 4, you'll move the jumper Change your VOP and measure to the end of the cable. Note the distance and the termination type and record the results. You'll see at the end of the score sheet there's a bonus, distance to splice. You'll need to get this to get 100 points on the test. Measure to the leading edge of the splice and record the results. Then stop the timer using both hands. Now hand the timer to the judge so they can record your time on the score sheet.